Previously on the Ultimate Iron Man series, we were continuing on the grind to be the first Ultimate Iron Man to complete all combat achievements. In the last video, our goal brought us to perhaps the most menacing beast of all, the Corporeal Beast. After getting 150 KC and completing some various mechanical combat achievements, we wound up completing all of the tasks rather quickly. However, afterwards, I felt unquenched. I decided I wanted to get a sigil, perhaps the ultimate achievement for an ultimate Iron Man. The idea sounded rather fitting, so I set off. With a sigil in my sights, I was determined. I was going to grind for a sigil. And thusly, the idea was born. There will not be another video until I get a sigil. We are jumping straight on into the video here. If you're new to the channel and you're curious how an ultimate Iron Man kills Corp, feel free to go watch the last video because that's where I talk about all the stuff. Otherwise, feel free to keep watching. All right, there's 151 KC. Officially our first KC on the grind to the sigil. One thing I'm gonna start doing a bit differently here is I'm just gonna be using one dose of super combat for the whole kill instead of two like I've been doing previously. Cause if we're doing 500 kills here and we're using two doses per kill, it's gonna be a thousand super combat doses, which is like a little more than I would like to spend here. So just by using one dose of kill, we'll be using half of that, which is still like kind of a lot cause I do need these to last forever, but that's a little bit better obviously. We'll be using it at the beginning of the kill just so we can ensure we land our specs faster. Because once he's like one defense, the fact that you get an attack bonus from this doesn't even matter. And you know, you're probably losing like a few max hits by not having the boosted strength, but I don't think that would really make that much of a difference. All right. Well, there is our 30th kill today. That is definitely the most kills we've ever done in one day. It's something like eight hours or so. Just killing this guy all day. So I'm going to end my day now and go to bed. So I will see you tomorrow. Hey, just logged in for the day and looks like we got the Christmas event. All right. I think we completed the event. We did not complete the event. Oh god, am I gonna sit on Santa's lap? He's not even Santa, he has a brown beard. <laughs> oh jeez, I need eight inventory spaces to open this present. I guess we'll just drop some of this stuff real quick. Hopefully it won't make a difference. Oh jeez, four more inventory spaces? Come on, man, you're killing me. Okay. Ah, there it is. Okay, got some cool stuff. Don't have time to wear it because my stuff's gonna despawn. Yeah, in true RuneScape fashion, we completed the Christmas events because that's what RuneScape is about, is all the events, right? Can't even use a fucking Christmas cracker, dude. I am an Iron Man, I stand alone. Wow, I thought this would be like the one item that we could like bypass the Iron Man thing with, but I guess not. Yeah, first kill of the day, some more Onyx Bolt tips. We are up to 875. That is a lot. I like it. Spirit shield number six. Hell yeah, dude. Another 42k. Hey, some more tick planks. Will we take those? Some more rune ore. We are up to 60 now. Not too bad. Back to back runite ore. The deep willy runite rocks got nothing on me because I already got all of it. Subscribe. Cannonball drop number four. And we will not be picking those up because I don't know why but we aren't. The nature talisman drop. Ah, decided to risk it, but I died for the third time on the grind. Hey, so there is a virtual strength level. That is level 109 strength, 35 million strength XP coming in at the corp. Thank God, cause there's probably not gonna be another clip for a long time. It happened again. <laughs> My heart dropped because I thought it was another sigil drop because of the lights, but just some onyx bolt tips, which is super nice. I don't have to say that because you probably already know that, but I'm saying it anyway. So there you go. Ooh, pretty sure we got one of those like a few kills ago. We are now at a lot of them. I was going to say over 1000, but I think we hit over 1000 on the last drop. Though I guess technically we're still over 1000. All right, well, here's a little mix up of clips. We just finished editing the next video. Looks like we got around 3000 item and dart tips from just mining the amethyst here, a couple clue geodes. And since we got 99 Slayer in the last video, I kind of want to use like a thumbnail where I am wearing the 99 Slayer skill cape. So I'm going to buy it because I guess I never did that. Oh, yeah. 
Ooh, that actually matches the deep pick nicely with the spirit shield too. Well, we couldn't complete either of the clue scrolls, so we're going to turn them into Watson here. And yeah, the Slayer Cape is actually pretty useful. It's got a perk that allows you like a 10% chance to get the same task that you already had, which is kind of useful if you're trying to grind a boss. So we'll throw it on the cape rack here and maybe we'll use it someday in the future. But yeah, it looks like we are up to 4,000 Amethyst Dark Tips from editing the last two videos. So I guess over the next few videos, we'll get that up to our max stack and then we'll go ahead and throw those in the blowpipe. So that'll be amazing. Hey, some teak planks. I don't know when the last clip we made was probably a long time ago because I have not been doing much stuff aside from this, as I have said a few times now. Sometimes I like to pet this dog. That's worth a clip. Hey, that's pretty cool. A virtual attack level with the Dragon Warhammer spec. That is 17 million attack XP. All right, there's 200 KC. That's a big KC milestone. We've had to buy a bunch of law runes a few times because we keep running out. And I'm thinking like what I could do is like I could buy like 10,000 law runes and then we wouldn't run out for a long time. But in doing that, that's sort of like saying I'm not going to get the sigil for at least 10,000 law runes. You know what I mean? Because that'll last us like a few hundred kills and we could get the sigil on the next kill. So this is already more than I've ever bought. This is like the sixth time we've, we've had to buy law runes. So I am staying optimistic. That'll be like, what, 50 more kills or something like that? Because ultimately, I'm probably just going to end up selling back to the shop all the law runes that we don't use on this grind. So after every time we get something like a Mystic Road Bottom, we will teleport to Lumbridge, get an Explorer's Ring from Purdue, and then we will Alk it. But as is seen throughout history, many great things are discovered through a mistake. And I just learned by misclicking on this Explorer's Ring that you can Alk the Explorer's Ring with the Explorer's Ring. So... This is perhaps the truest manifestation of Go Elk Yourself. Hell yeah, dude. Pure Essence? Finally, man. I don't know how it took me this long to notice this, but if we check the charges on our arc light, it's at 7218. Then we'll come over here and we'll spec them twice. And yet the charges are still at 7218, which means we're not actually using charges. I guess you're only using charges when you're attacking something that's like susceptible to the demon bane effect and Corp isn't a demon, so he's not one of those creatures. But for some reason, this whole time I was thinking like we were going to have to go grind some ancient shards at some point. Because I mean, we're using like, you know, 30 specs a kill. It's like 30 charges a kill. 500 kills would be like 15,000 charges. But luckily, we're not using any charges. So that's pretty nice. A 10 Rainer Seeds, 247 KC. That is the third Rainer Seed drop, which means, you know, actually I'm thinking about it. We're using like three doses of per potion per kill. And each one of these Rainer Seeds gives what, like nine, 10 Rainers, which is equivalent to like nine or 10 three dose potions, right? And 10 Rainer Seeds means we're getting like, you know, 90 to 100 per potions. And since the drop rate for the Rainer Seeds for the 10 Rainer Seeds is a 1 in 100. That essentially means for every 100 kills, we're using 100 Prayer Potions, but we're getting 100 Prayer Potions back in Rainer Seeds, which means, you know, we're essentially breaking even on Prayer Potions, which is super nice. I hadn't actually considered that outright. And of course, that's assuming we go on drop rate for the Rainer Seed drop. But uh, yeah, that is beautiful. All right, well, I just went to teleport and noticed that I couldn't do it because we are out of teleport runes, I guess. Pretty sure we started this grind with like 7,000 dust runes and now we are down to zero. So I guess uh, we'll go ahead and buy like a few thousand air and earth runes as those are the runes needed. You need to teleport to your house. But since that's two runes instead of one rune, I guess we'll just have one less inventory space to do this, but that's fine, right? Probably shouldn't make too much of a difference. A Onyx Bolt drop number seven, number six, seven, something like that. 1400 in the inventory. Damn. Onyx Bolt drop and a Rainer Seed drop. That is really sexy. We also should only have gotten theoretically two and a half Rainer Seed drops, but we've gotten four. So we are definitely profiting quite a few prayer potions at the moment. Hopefully we can keep up the orange. Whoa, Woo 91. This guy in my clan just got a scythe. Damn, dude. Why is it only 500 mil now? Jeez. Massive grats to Woo91. Hey, some more Onyx Bolts. You'll love to see it. All right, well, apparently uh, I just downloaded the Windows 11 updates and it resets all of my rune light settings, including like, I don't know, like two years of loot tracker. So that kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, so I just spent like 20 minutes redoing all my settings. I think I missed a few because we still have a bunch of stuff on the screen here. So we'll have to, it's a work in progress. Hey, some of these more things. 
We're winning the game. Oh, that's a weird drop. Nature Talisman, Loop Half of Key, and a bunch of gems. I guess uh, I've only ever gotten a bunch of gems whenever we hit the rare drop table, but I guess that means we're hitting three rolls on the rare drop table every time. Oh shit. Apparently, when you hit the rare drop table on Corp, you roll its contents 10 times. So that's why you always get a bunch of gems usually, but that time we got three things that weren't gems. We actually just got the Rune Javelin, which is a one in 5,400 drop. <laughs> As, whoa, also the loop half is also that? Okay, I'm, I don't really know how to comprehend what just happened, but yeah. And there is 300 KC as the Corporal Beast. That's a pretty nice milestone. Still no sigils. So that means we are going to keep going and hopefully we won't hit any more milestones because that would mean that we don't get the sigil, right? So normally it's a good thing to hit milestones, but I am done hitting milestones personally, so hopefully the game will accept my personal preferences. Dude, we just got five more rune javelins. Uh, what? I'm not sure if this is really one in 5,400 for five of the rune javelins, because you're getting 10 rolls per every time you roll the rare drop table, right? So maybe it's only like one in 500. So maybe it's not really weird that we got that drop twice now. A onyx bolt drop number something. I don't know what number that is. If only I could teleport. There we go. Now we can go back to playing RuneScape. Hey guys. So I just finished editing the next video. Looks like we got 3,500 amethyst start tips, which is nice. But what's not nice is that I suicided in order to get inventory to mine these things all day. And apparently when you suicide the amulet of the damned, it like disintegrates. So, <laughs> oh God, man. The Amulet of the Damned is like a stash unit pair with the Arc Light. So when we're done with this grind, we're not going to be able to store the Arc Light back in the stash unit because we no longer have an Amulet of the Damned, which means we're going to have to go grind an Amulet of the Damned right now. We don't like have to do it right now, but since our inventory is like empty, may as well do it. So hopefully it doesn't take more than like a few hours. I don't know. That's a pretty juvenile oversight. So I deserve the pain here. Hey, our first ever gold key. Can't say I've actually gotten one of these since they redid this whole place, but these are the newest ones, the, the Urium, Urium shadows. So these have like the highest chance of giving us the highest level key, which has the highest chance of giving us the Amulet of the Damned. So I guess these are the best ones to, to kill. All right, now we're really cooking. What is that, 10? No, 11 golden keys. According to the wiki, the drop rate is one in 24 from the gold chest for the Amulet of the Damned. But if you look at this, apparently the drop rate for the silver chest is like one in 15. So that means, I guess we should have been going for those. Uh, Maybe we'll do those on the next run if we don't get it here. All right, well, we didn't get it, unfortunately. All right, a bunch of silver keys. Can we get the thing? No. All right, we got four golden keys to work with. Can we get the thing? Oh, yes, that feels good. That feels good, man. It took about two and a half hours, so... <laughs> we got another one, so that's even better. I guess we'll use this last. Whoa, no way. We just got three? We just got three, man. What the hell, dude? Uh. I guess, I guess we'll take it. I don't really know what to say about that, but uh, yeah, that is a nice little thing to get, I suppose. So I guess we can go back to Killing Corp, and when we're done Killing Corp, we can store one of these Amulets of the Damned back in the stash unit with the Arc Lights, so the Arc Lights won't be permanently taking up a spot in the inventory. So that is beautiful. Damn, it has been a while since the last Corp kill clip. It's been like 50 kills or something. We're getting like four kills an hour, so that's what, like over 12 hours since the last clip. But there are some Onyx Bolts. You'll love to see it. Ooh, it's not an Elysian, but that's 10 Rainer Seeds. I haven't gotten that drop in a while. It's easily been over 100 KC since I've gotten that. We've now gotten it five times. The drop rate's one in 100, so we should have gotten it 3.8 times. So we are definitely doing well on that front. All right, so this is going to be KC number 400. A big old KC milestone achieved. Still no sigil, which means we are officially in the 400s now, so that's pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> that one triggered my sigil senses again, but there's another onyx bolt drop. Check it out, guys. We are making a clip because we got some content. Level 103 defense, virtual defense level at 19.3 million XP. 
So I'll see you in another 100 kills when we somehow get a clip of something. A Onyx Ball drop. Haven't had one of those in a while. 462 KC. No idea when we made the last clip. However, this clip is now effectively completed. So I'm just here casually minding my own business doing some corp when all of a sudden this guy Sporker enters my game chat somehow. I don't know how he did it, but I told him he did it and I asked him to try and repeat it. So he did. And now the entire clan has learned how to speak in the game chat. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know what to do. Jagex, please don't ban me. Apparently all you have to do is use these signs, shift backwards slash, and then you type in your message and it will go to the game chat. So that way everyone can see it. Plus when you hit clear, it doesn't even clear it. So it's just like spam. Probably not a great thing to have happen. I'm guessing this will be patched by the time this video comes out, but uh, yeah, it's kind of a cool little bug, I guess. Hey, Onyx Bolt Tips. I keep saying Onyx Bolt Tips, but I mean to say Onyx Bolts. I think we got them last kill, but I will have no way of knowing because of the spam in the game chat now. But yeah, 26, 25 of these things now. Beautiful. Alrighty, we are now back from New Year's. Spent five days on a ski trip with the family. Dude, five days since we last logged in. That is a long time. Oh, dude, we're playing RuneScape again. We're killing Corp. Let's go kill some Corp. This is Alex calling you from Sexual Abuse Compensation Department. How are you doing today? You guys call me like uh, every other day. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why. Sir, this call is in regards to compensation for you because you were sexually abused by all Catholic priests when you were minor. Is that correct, sir? Uh, define priest. First corp kill of the stream. Ooh, <laughs> that made my heart jump a little bit. We got the orange light, the onyx bolts. Nice little 1.5 miller. We take those. Oh, you guys, you guys, <laughs> oh. oh, you guys, oh. I'm completely speechless. I don't know what to say. I was not fucking expecting that. <laughs> we just got the spectral spirit shield. <laughs> oh my god, dude. You guys. Poem. Enjoy that spectral less than three. My hands are numb. I don't know what to do. Shit. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I. Uh, you guys. I don't know. Oh Jesus. I literally don't know what to do. Uh. <laughs> I feel. I feel kind of. Feel weird. Yeah. We got a sigil now. Um, I guess let's go make it into this, this thing, right? God, I can't even think right now. I'm, I feel like I'm high. It's weird. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we, do we just use it on there? No, we have to talk to Abbott Langley, right? 
Uh, I think this is the guy. Okay. It costs you 1.5 mil. Are you sure? Yes. He skillfully combines the sigil with the shield. All right. The first time ever wearing a spirit shield. Um. <laughs> oh God. Oh. No way, man. Oh, dude, you guys, I can't believe it. We actually got it. Are you 90 prayer? Yeah. Oh. Oh. This, that's just so nice. <laughs> wow. I wasn't expecting to get anything, man. I wasn't I didn't think we'd actually get anything. Uh I am just blown away. I am just floored. I'm absolutely floored right now. I hope I'm not like milking this dirty thing, but like Wow. Um Okay, so we got the spirit shield. <laughs> it doesn't look real. It doesn't look real. Uh I think I think I'm gonna keep Thank you.